Hello, everyone. I'm trying to get the banner off of the screen and get me on. Hello, everybody. It's Kate Richberg, and it's great to have all of you all here today. When I clicked the start button, I was like, oh my gosh, I've got to get this thing off the screen. So sorry about that. But here we are. We are, it is free tip Friday, the pre great bead extravaganza edition uh, that I've got for you. So I'm going to show you, we've got a lot to go over today. First of all, I got an idea right before I went on. So I was a couple minutes late. So I'm sorry about that. But I thought since it's Pearl weekend this week, right? And I'm going to do pearls tomorrow for great bead extravaganza. I happen to have just sitting right over here next to me is my vast pearl collection. So I pulled four strands from the collection. They're like 16 inch strands. I pulled four of them and I'm going to give them away at the end of the broadcast because why not? Let's kick off this party. Tomorrow during my broadcast for the Great Beat Extravaganza, I'm going to give away some gift certificates. But I thought that since you were my special friends, you're my special Friday friends, right? That four of you, one, two, three, four, I'm going to do it at the end. Okay. So, I mean, why not? Right? Life is short. It's Friday. Let's have fun. So stay tuned to the end and I'm going to do the giveaway. We're going to do it right on the screen. This is one of my pieces I uh, designed. I did a little Kate uh, logo there on the back. Let me see. It has a little more embroidery back here. And then way down here, it's a dress, but I'll pull it up. You can't see anything. Way down here, there's a B. So because it's super spring. So I'm wearing my spring linen. All right, so let's get to it. I've got so much to share with you. First of all, let me make sure that I can share the giveaway tool with you all. Um, here's the giveaway tool. Yes, there it is. I'm gonna tell you what it is now and you can start putting the hashtag in. So let me give you this and then we'll go, cause I know you're like, you can't think of anything else but the giveaway, right? So I can't either. So the way the giveaway works for us is that um, what we do is you use the hash, hashtag pearls, hashtag pearls in the comments. And then I'm gonna choose, uh, we'll do a drawing at the end. And just if I don't have your address, just email it to me and I will send these out from my, um, from my house. So we're going to do this at the end. You can put pearls in as many times as you want. It's only going to record you once. So you can see all y'all you're getting there. Good, 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 good. So what we're doing is with StreamYard. let me show you this here real quick. I've got a little explainer here. Um, with, uh, StreamYard, what you have to do is you can jump over to StreamYard and grant permission to see your name at StreamYard.com forward slash Facebook. That's the only, um, that's the only, uh, the group, the Facebook group, if you're watching there, that's the only place where you have to grant permission. Um, everything else is, um, is fine. Uh, we can see your your, um, whoops, that's not hashtag Tucson. It's hashtag pearls. I need to fix that. Um, so anywhere else you're commenting, we can see your name, but if you're watching in the group and you have not, uh, granted StreamYard the, um, the permission to see you, what we're going to see looks like, let's see. It looks like everybody's granted permission. I don't see anybody who just says, user. That's awesome. Great. So do it just like Sally. See, I've seen Sally's comment, hashtag pearls. Perfect. You folks are on it. And uh, the giveaway entries, it's only good for this live broadcast today, right? 421, 23, 
and I'm going to pull them before I get off the broadcast today, before our pearl kits and everything go live. Okay. So I'm going to just put in down here. Um, well, I'll put that back up in a minute. So we're good. So I'm going to stop sharing that screen. You can see we've got a bunch of entries so far. We've got 58. Good. And I'll go over this again at the end. Uh, let me get back to the comments. Let me put my other camera up. Okay. And you can put hashtag pearls in, as I said, as much as you want, but it's only going to record your vote once. Okay. Oh, so Ellen, you're asking for uh, the entries on um, our giveaway on the great beat extravaganza. Yeah. What we can do, I'll do that before the end. I'll look at the kits and stuff and then I'll go over, or if someone can do it. Um, yep. Shelly, I see your comments. I see you right here. No worries. I got you. Um, but make sure there's no, oh, see, Lynn, Lenny's on it for everybody. Christine, there's a space between your hashtag and your pearls. It will affect your chance. So make sure, uh, that you, um, that it's all one word. Okay. So we'll do that at the very end. Um, and, uh, uh, will uh, I'll give you that link or Janice, if you're watching, you can go to, over to the great beat extravaganza page. I think I'll go over at the end. So we don't get the wrong one. Okay. But there is a great giveaway. You'll be able to add, uh, enter that giveaway all weekend. So don't worry, but you have to add, you have to put yourself in right now. I'll put it in before the end of the show. And this is a great question about the great beat extravaganza from Kim Crawford. Um, when we're in the other group, say the other contributors, um, do we need to sign up into StreamYard or does it cross the platforms? Um, so let me tell you a little bit. So a lot of the different presenters and other people actually that you may watch live uh, use StreamYard. It's great. And if you um, do broadcasting, live broadcasting, StreamYard is amazing. Uh, if you want to know more about it, email me and I'll share it with you. Um, so... Uh, what you can do, but what StreamYard does when you're in a group, right? We've got our Facebook page, which is beadshop.com. We've got our Facebook group, which is the bead table. Facebook, our page, um, the beadshop.com book, uh, uh, regular page. I'm sorry, I was watching the comments here. The regular page is public, right? So anyone can see if you've posted on there or whatever, but Facebook groups are private. So in order for StreamYard to grab, it's the platform we use for streaming. It's called StreamYard. It's really a powerful tool. StreamYard can't go into Facebook, grab your picture and like this here, there's Tanya. We see her picture. We see her little Facebook logo, right? But if someone is watching on the group like this, this Facebook user and puts in hashtag pearls, I can't see who it is, right? So if you go over to, I'll tell you, I'll show that again, just so it's clear. And this is also good uh, practice for this weekend. So if you're watching through the Great Beat Extravaganza group, you would need to grant stream your, your permission because I think, I don't think it crosses platforms. It may cross between, let's say I use it and I know Neelay of Silver Silk uses it. It may, but also sometimes your permissions may run out, right? So you won't, uh, you have to renew it once in a while. So what you do is you go over to, let me see, I've got so many notes here. Before leaving the comment, you go to streamyard.com forward slash Facebook, and it brings you a little page and you say, I agree. Then you come back and then you do your comment and it should show your face and your name. That's it. So, and remember those giveaways are good today for my pearls on 4-21-23. Okay. So, uh, that's what we've got going for today for the giveaway. Now let's go ahead. Let me take this off here. Let me get back to the comments. Yes, we're good. 
And yeah, if you're on YouTube, you're fine. Don't worry. YouTube, Facebook, all of that. It's just the groups that are private that you need to, um, that you need to, uh, grant that permission to. Okay. So I love it. You are, uh, you, oh, nope. It doesn't cross over. Whoever this is who said, if you can see my name, then it definitely crosses over. I can't. Whoever you are, go grant that permission and come back or jump on YouTube and leave the comment there. All right. So I know I'm totally distracted by these. I'm going to put these aside. These four are going to head out to you folks. I want to talk about two things. I want to talk about the kit that I have for this weekend. It's going to launch right now. It is 10 49 AM on the West coast here in California. It's going to go live in, uh, at noon, my time. So that's about an hour and 10 minutes from now. So I'm going to, um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, show you what is launching with these pearl kits. And, um, then I'm going to show you on the homepage where it is. I've got a couple of things on the homepage there. And Landa, it doesn't, you can put hashtag pearls as long as hashtag pearls is there. I think it picks it up. Okay. We use the, the giveaway tool through StreamYard. It's great. StreamYard is awesome. It was built by these two guys with a small little business. Um, and now it's been, uh, uh, kind of built up and built up. It's a great platform to use for live streaming. So again, if you have any questions, you can always email me. I'm glad to share, to share the knowledge. So, uh, let me add the, um, the, uh, I want to, oh, okay. I'm going to actually stop sharing this screen. And I'm going to share the bead shop screen. Bear with me here. Just a second. Pearl knotting basics. There we go. So let me go to the homepage here. So you can see where to shop later. Okay. They're available 421 23 at noon. You can see I've got two colorways. I've got this golden colorway here. And I've got this green colorway here. I'm going to open them up. We're going to talk about it in a second. So it's called Mesa and Verde. Mesa is the golden brown. The Verde is the green. And these are pearls that I did pick up in Tucson. I still have one Tucson pearl mix and one more Tucson pearl drop that's coming maybe next month, a little bit later. Um, so I'm telling you, my car was riding low with all the pearls I brought back from Tucson. Um, but this is what I'm doing for the bead extravaganza. And I'm going to talk about these. So if you go to the homepage, you click, um, on this, uh, on this banner. Um, you'll also see right here. Let me show you when you scroll down, See right here under new arrivals, how we've got the two slide tubes there. That first and second position is going to be populated by the two new pearl kits when they go live. Okay. So you'll see them there as well. It's going to bring you right now. If you click on that, it's going to bring you to the kit page, but you're not going to see those, um, those, uh, pearls there yet. Also take a look. Our spring fling coupon has started today. It's spring fling 20. Put that in at checkout. It'll knock 20% off your order now through Sunday at midnight. Notice something folks that I also did. I've done two things and I want to share this with you. First, I've done, thank you, Drea. She did a whole page on Pearl Knotting 101. So Everything that you're going to need for pearl knotting basics, all of our pearls, plus some of the pearl clasps we've gotten, some of my favorite, <coughs> pardon me, sizes of thread, the end tips, the bullion, the needles, the awl, and the tweezer. Also, so you can shop those particular products there. Take a look on the left here, the project info 
you can click on any of these and it brings you to the whole category. Like let's just go to spooled silk, click there and you can see all the silk is there, not just the single colors. And you can shop it by size if you want a certain size or by color. So hopefully that helps out a little bit. What I've also done here, and I'd like your help with this, which is why I wanted to share this with you. I also made a category called shop by technique. What I've heard from some of you, you've said, um, oh, you know, what do I need to get started with wire? What do I need to get started with pearl knotting, et cetera, et cetera. So I started yesterday populating also some pages on this. And you can see here's the pull down. It's under shop. You can shop by color. You can shop by designer. You can shop by technique. Okay. Shop by technique takes you to this page. Pearl knotting basics we've already looked at. So I thought That's I would... I found. Whoops, nope, my watch is talking to me, sorry. Uh, the Kumi Basics has all the clasps, the bobbies, and the discs that we carry. I'm going to link, you can see here at the bottom, I talked about the project and our, um, our uh, broadcasts that we did. So these are going to get fleshed out uh, a little bit more uh, as we go along. But if there are basics um, to, uh, to see that, right. Or basics that you want to see, then, um, let me know because I'm going to build a page for all of those basics. We're going to do wire. We're going to do stringing. We'll do one for ladder bracelets. Um, so it just makes it easier. So it's all on one page here. So we'll see what happens. Okay. Um, also motocrafts, I see you. So you are already, um, I can already see who you are. So if you go ahead and do that comment, you are good to go. I'm going back here and seeing uh, if there's any other questions here. Good. Nope. Looks good. Looks like you folks are, are going. Um, Christine is saying she loves shop by color. I love shop by color too. Do you folks know about shop by color? If you don't, let me show you shop by color and then we'll get to the pearls. But here under shop, this was a Janice uh, uh, creation because he at bead shop, when we had the brick and mortar store in Palo Alto and our subsequent other stores, we arranged the store by color. All the beads were done by color, the threads, everything was done by color. I did that also in my store in San Francisco at Perissimo. And it really, um, I don't know, I, I love the way that you can just click. Let's click on cyan. It's one of the super most popular ones. So everything we've tagged, there's 267 products that fall under that cyan or blue green category. See that there? And you can just scroll through and say, look at all this color. So if you're looking for something in a particular color, just go for it. Go to shop by color, find the color you like. Here's purple, shop by purple. And you can see here on the side uh, bar, you can shop only purple beads and gems, only purple string materials, only purple cords, etc., etc. Okay, so that's it right there. So hopefully that's helpful. Okay. Uh, oh, you're not seeing my computer. Hmm. I wonder why it's showing. Hmm. Let me see. Let me stop sharing and add, try and add that back in. Let me just, let me just see. Uh, present and share screen and share and share this one and share. Tell me that. Do you see it now? Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? There we go. Okay. There we are. So here's the pearl page. Let me, oh, I know why. 
Let me close this off. Let me do this. Hold the phone. I had two windows open and I was doing the wrong ones. So let's go here. Can you see that now? I think you can. Shop by color. There it is. Shop by color. Here are all the cyans. I talked about the cyan, that blue green. Okay. So sorry about that, folks, if it's not, maybe refresh your screen. I'm seeing it on my screen. Okay, you got it. Okay, perfect. Phew. All right, it's hard to be the talent and the director all at the same time. You never know what's gonna happen on live. So there's the cyan, let me show you that. Let me go back to, uh, what did I show you? I showed you the purple. So let's look at that just for fun. <clears throat> Pardon me. There's a purple. And again, see over here how I talked to you about there's, you could shop it by type. You could also shop it by finish. If there's any metal attached to it, you can see the brass, the copper, uh, gold, uh, rose gold, and silver. Okay. So there, there you have it. All right. Let me go back to the homepage. And this is where you're going to jump in and uh, click to see the kits. So sorry about that. It was a little, uh, it's a little off there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let me have some more coffee. But you did see folks, right? I want to make sure that you did this under shop, shop by technique. Let me know if there's a technique that you want all the stuff together for. Let me know. We can throw it on that page. Um, so that's, uh, that's my story, uh, right there. Also, I wanted to point out under learning, um, Emily's seed bead school down there. A lot of you, um, reference these often, but I want to make sure that those of you who are new to watching us, here's our skill builders, which has a whole bunch of how to's right, right there. Then, uh, we've got our stitchinary, our famous stitchinary that we need to update. We will, but it talks about all the different cords that we carry. Um, we've got the needlepedia, which talks about the needles that we carry. The knot pendium. I know, Drea and I just kind of went crazy with all of these. A lot of the different knots that I teach are here. It's a little rough, the page, but they link nicely. So we'll, we'll, make it a little prettier. Master classes. There's a few here. There's my boosting with creativity class that I did uh, here. When Cynthia, when Cynthia was here the first time, we did a color theory and design with Cynthia. Janice's top 10 tips for amazing results. If you haven't read that, it's a great one. And then my primer on how to make your own mix. Okay, so those are fun little kind of video master classes that I've got there. And then lastly, blank design templates, a lot of these that Emily have made, a few that Janice has made, those are all there. So hopefully that little, um, that little uh, overview is helpful. So I'm going to get rid of that page. And uh, let me uh, stop sharing here. There we go. And let's take a look at the pearls. So these are going to launch, as I said, at noon. So in a little under an hour and 58 minutes from now. So uh, the two pearls, uh, the bags of pearls, they're about 100 grams of pearls. And what I did when I shopped for the pearls, I did them kind of by color. You may have picked up, this one is one that we launched a few weeks ago, right? This was the golden ones, the desert pearl mix. This was the, the, the gold pearl mix. So I did two more for the Great Bead Extravaganza. This one's called Mesa in the gold. I have a couple more knots. Thank you, Paula. I have a couple more knots that I'm going to 
send down the pike soon. I love doing the knots. All right. And Lori, don't worry if you missed the beginning. It'll be on replay. You can watch this replay again and again right on our uh, YouTube channel. So this is the Verde. This is the Mesa. You have a literal ton. It's 100 grams of pearls in each bag. So you, if you want them both, you have to order one of each color. Okay. They also come, what I'm going to teach tomorrow, and I know you've seen me do a lot of pearl knotting, but we also included this size four bead cord. I'm going to show you how to use that tomorrow. Okay. You've seen me do it before, but I'm going to show that tomorrow, knotting with the Griffin silk. I'm also going to talk about the silk on the spool and why I use it, when I use it, what's the difference, right? We're going to talk about needles, what works and what doesn't. This is my number one question when it comes to pearl knotting, honestly, is people email and they'll go, Kate, the needles didn't work. And I'm like, because you're using the wrong needle. So listed on that pearl knotting basics page is the correct needle. Okay. So whoops, that's a little close. Um, but I'm going to talk about it more tomorrow. And that broadcast will live over on our YouTube page as well. Okay. Uh, I will tell you what the pearl sizes are. Thank you. I've got my caliper right here. I'm going to show you that. So let's open that bag up. The green, let me see if I have a little dish here. Um, I do. Let's dump these out. Here's the green ones. And you can see it's a whole variety. So when I was shopping with these, I just grabbed strands that were by the color that I wanted, right? So I just grabbed green, small green, large green, green, whatever, rice, long ovals, rounds, whatever. Um, and then when we made the mix, we cut them up in a big bin and then Chris weighed them out, 100 grams each in a baggie. Um, so they're a great mix. So you can see, let's zero out our caliper. This one here, this long one, that's 10.4 millimeters by about 8.2. Okay, let's do a smaller one. That one's eight millimeters and it's round, right? Um, let's look at this big, big one that's here. That one's almost 13 millimeters. So it's a variety. Um, and there's a bunch, I didn't count them out, but two, four, six, eight. So that's 10 pearls right there. So let's just say that there's a lot of pearls in this dish. So I'm going to pour them back in the baggie and let's look at the brown ones. Okay. Also, if you're choosing thread, remember this was my little um, tester from the other, the desert pearl mix. If you got the desert pearl mix, you can see um, how they match beautifully with these green ones. I used a size double F for knotting these and the double F fits beautifully. And I'm going to talk more about the knotting tomorrow, but you can see that knot there. We're also doing the size four and you get the size four in with your beads. You don't get anything else. You don't get end tips. You don't get anything, but you do get some thread because what I want you to do um, is practice with this. So this is a great practice thread. Okay. So this is the green. Let's take a look at the brown. This one is called Verde. These remind me kind of of little peas. They're so cool. There we go. They're nice just to have. I know if you have my mixes though, kids, I want you to use them. I know they're pretty to look at, but let's get making, right? 
Here's the brown. There we go. So pretty. Some are a little lighter, some are a little darker. Here's a lighter one. Let me measure that hole to hole. Nine and a half by 10.7. That one's 14 millimeters, it's long. So Bronkhorst, that's a good question. So most of these pearls, even though they have different shapes, they're mostly drilled the same. And that was one of my criteria when I was making these mixes, okay? Was that I chose beads that all had hole sizes that were about the same, okay? So I, uh, and so I'm using that double F or that F thread doubled to do the knot. Let me show you, I've got some pearls. Hold that thought because that's a really good question and I'm gonna address it. I'm gonna put that on my list to address tomorrow. Hang on, as I'm walking, you can hear my voice get a little further away. Hold the phone. Um, if you have some pearls that are smaller, and these will be launching soon, let me bring them back to you. I have them over on my to-be-launched table. See how these pearls, they're a little smaller. These are kind of a flat. These are kind of top drilled a little bit. This whole size, and I just know this from experience. These, when the pearls are a little smaller, the hole's just going to be smaller. Okay. This, these here also, these are a little smaller, right? Here, this is the, uh, these will also be a little bit smaller to see. Whoops, sorry about that. Um, Janice wants to see it on white. I do have some white here. And I'll zoom in on it. This is the size F that I've used. It is doubled. So let me zoom in on that so you can see it. So see that size knot? Tomorrow for the Great Bead Extravaganza, I'm gonna show you, we also carry size E, which is a little bit smaller. Let me see if I can find it in the colors here. E, F, and here's the D. So we carry the basics, let me zoom out a bit. <clears throat> we carry, the D is the smallest, then the E, then the F. The D we really only carry, I think, in the white. I don't even know if we carry it in the, in the black. Um, because this, pearls, it used to be really easy to get, we used to carry all the colors, a billion different colors and all the sizes. They just don't manufacture it like they used to. Okay, so we got the D, we got it in white. It's silk, so it's really easy to dye. You can dye it with food coloring, even. You just have to set it with heat. Um, rinse it and rinse it really well. You can kind of wrap it around a card, put it in that a little bit of food coloring and water or get a little writ dye or whatever. You can dye it really easily. Silk takes great uh, color dye really easily. Then just iron it to get it, make sure it's color fast and then you're good to go. So that's the D, this is the E, this is the F. And so what I have is a variety of threads. You can also get a variety of the threads on the card to make sure that you've got the thread on hand. Because uh, I get, again, we get this question all the time. What size should I, thread should I use for my pearls? Without having those threads in hand, or the pearls in hand rather, it's really hard to match the thread size. So I hope that answers the question. Janice also has, let me share, uh, let me share this screen again here. And I want to show you um, here, 
there it is. We're at the blank design templates, but I'll move over. Um, if you go here under uh, uh, learning and you go under archived projects, archived projects, these are a lot of our handouts that we used to have uh, for classes in our brick and mortar bead shop. Janice has, as I scroll down, you can see what we've got here. It's a wealth of knowledge. Our handouts used to be have to take a class to get these handouts only, but now they're on the web. This is Janice's famous pearl knotting handout right here that she's used to teach hundreds, thousands probably, of people how to not. So see that? It talks about all of the sizes, how do you calculate thread, how to thread your needle, all that good stuff. And she does the knotting method without a tool. Okay. So uh, go ahead and um, Oh, you know what? It popped up in a new window. I bet you can't see that. Anyway, go to that download P PDF button and you will find it there. Okay. So um, it's a real, a real treasure trove. The Griffin sizes. So the D, E, and F, Tony, it's a great question, are on the spools. The numbers, the two, four, six, let me get rid of that page here, um, relate to the silk on the card, okay? So the silk on the card, number four, is about the same as a doubled over strand of size F, ab about, okay? And you can test it out, but they come in both. The higher the number is on this uh, cord here, the heavier the thread. Here, the higher the letter is, the heavier the thread. <laughs> Janice is saying, I don't think that it's that famous. Au contraire, mon ami. Uh, Janice has taught literally thousands of people with that handout, so it's really great. Um, let me see if there are any other questions that I'm missing. No. Okay. Uh, I wanted to also give you a sneak peek. Coming down the pike, I also bought some. That Christine Whitney has been waiting for these. And they're going to launch very soon. Very soon, I promise. I bought a strand of Tahitian pearls. And these are coming. They're not. Drea has to get back. Claire has to photograph them. And then they're going to be on the website. So in these special little bags... We're selling Tahitian pearls by the pearl. They're limited, but look at this Tahitian pearl. They're not the top grade, but they're a pretty nice grade. I'm going to zoom in on it. It's just a little sneak peek. Again, there's going to be a limited supply, but if you love them, I may be able to get more. I don't know. I'll see. This year in Tucson, the prices were, I my our vendors were really good to us. So I was really fortunate to get some really great deals that we're able to pass on to you. But that's a 12 millimeter Tahitian. You can see, you're gonna see these again when we launch them. They have a little bit of inclusion, but I just wanted to show you how luscious. I mean, a strand of Tahitian pearls retail will cost anywhere from $500, $700, whatever. So we are doing it by the pearl, and they're going to be super affordable, somewhere around the $22 range, I think, per pearl. So it, they're going to be good. So uh, hopefully, I know, promises. I've been promising you this. But uh, yeah, and the whole size, you can see it fits on that uh, size F, a double strand. And so we'll launch them. Uh, watch the newsletter. I'll tell you folks the Wednesday, we're going to launch them on a Friday. 
on a, on a free tip. So I'll tell you the Wednesday before what, and it's going to be in a few weeks. I, I promise they're coming out. Um, but if you love them, I think I'll be able to get some more. Um, but I was really excited to get them. So they come in this little precious bag. Um, and I can't, I can't lose them. So I have to put them back in the thing. They were really, they were really fun. So, uh, let me zoom out <clears throat> a bit. That's a little bit too much. There we go. Uh, I'm looking for any other questions. I know I, I want to, I know <laughs> they are so pretty. Aren't they good? They are all natural. There's it's the peacock color. Um, I'm pretty excited about those. Um, I think it's time to do the giveaways, right? So let me explain that again. So you folks will have plenty of time to go shop. Let me just show you right again on the home page. I think this is showing, right? Is it showing on the, there we go. Let me go to the home page. To grab the kits, the kits are gonna launch at noon. They're right here. Um, they'll probably sell out before my broadcast tomorrow. So I recommend when we're done with this broadcast, go over to the website, do some shopping if you want. If you want to find that Pearl Nodding 101, it's all right here. You can click on that, put some things in your cart. Then at noon, click on over. They'll show here, refresh your page, or they'll be first in line under new arrivals as well. Uh, put them in your cart and check out right? If you want them, I don't want you to miss. If you're watching this later or on replay or later on when these pearls are long gone, fret not. We always have great pearls on our website and make sure and sign up for our newsletter because I am, pearl mixes are one of my most favorite things to do. So you'll see more coming down the pike there. Okay. So let me stop sharing the screen. Let me go to my stream yard here. Let me double check the comments and uh, go ahead. Like Sandy just did hashtag pearls is the uh, phrase for the giveaway. Make sure it has that hashtag. So Sandy, you don't have a hashtag Recomment with hashtag pearls. Okay. Janice is also asking, can we please ask you to add the thumbs up and to subscribe? It really helps us stay in business. It's really true. Give us that thumbs up on this video, especially if you're watching on YouTube, folks. The thumbs up, the follow, the social shares, all of that. It's you folks out there supporting us here, right? <clears throat> and yeah, we don't uh, we don't uh, monetize. We monetize very few of our videos, at least now. You never know what might happen. But all of those personal likes, all of that helps us get higher in the algorithm. So if you love beadshop.com and you want other people to join us on these lives, please, please share. So let me go ahead and add the giveaway tool. <clears throat> I'm going to make sure all you folks can see it. <clears throat> can you see that there on the screen? Make sure that we can see it. Someone let me know that it's up there. Yep, I got a thumbs up. So, so far we've got 114 entries. And Janice, can you see the the, the giveaway screen on, uh, on the broadcast? I want to make sure that you can see it. Or Christine or whoever is out there, give me a yes. And then what I'm going to do, let me move this for the pearls. Let me put them down. There are the four strands. Good. Okay. It's up. Perfect. Let me zoom out a bit so you can see those a little bit better. I'm going to go giveaway one, giveaway two, giveaway three, giveaway four. Okay. One, two, three, four. All right. So let me go ahead to the giveaway tool and we're going to draw. 
and let's see who it is. For number one, Karen, your winner of strand number one. I'm going to put this right here. I'm going to put your name on it here. And I'm going to take a screenshot so I know it was you. Uh, go ahead and email us uh, info at beadshop.com. Let me put that banner up. And with your address, and I will get them out. I have that banner here. I've got so many banners I need to go in and clean up. Uh, congratulations. There it is. There it is. So this is Karen's. Isn't this fun? We've got three more. I'm going to screenshot this so I know. Uh, okay. Let's draw the next one. Who will it be? Who will it be? Donna! This one's yours. The gold. Screenshot it. Isn't this fun? It's like a party. You can't have a party without... Um, without uh, party favors, right? Giveaway number three, the green strand. Might be my favorite. I don't know. They're all kind of my favorite. This peacock blue, I love them all. Let's do another one. My personal stash. These are not on beadshop.com. This is out of my stash. Because I love you. Holly! These green ones are yours. And last but not least, let's do this for this last one, this beautiful blue peacock color. Let's see who we've got. <clears throat> Congrats. Let me do this. Join me tomorrow on the broadcast for the Great Beat Extravaganza. I'm going to be giving away some gift certificates. So I gave you folks, the Friday folks, um, my pearls. This goes to Pat. Okay. And I think I screenshot it, but I'm going to screenshot sh shoot it again. I think I did, but I'm going to do it again. Okay. So that's it. That is all she wrote. Let me just put me up there. There we are. So winners, please uh, go ahead and email us at info at beadshop.com. I'll look you up. All of those names are familiar. We probably have you in our system, but if I don't, or you don't think I do, just double check. Okay. And we can all get those out to you ASAP. Uh, tomorrow, uh, let me do a little bit of um, a little bit of housekeeping here. Let me take this banner down, and let me tell you, folks, that you can find all things beadshop.com on our social at beadshop.com on uh, Instagram. Uh, if you make anything with beadshop projects or products, give us a tag. We'll love to share it to our stories. Uh, join our group, The Bead Table, over on Facebook. And if you're watching live or watching on replay, do hit that like, subscribe, and notification button on YouTube. Emily's hard at work on doing some of our short-form videos on seed beads. Those are the first ones that are going to roll out. Then we're going to roll out some more short-form techniques. So you're not going to want to miss any of that content. And again, we really appreciate that subscribe, like, and share so that you can tell other beaders who might love bead shop stuff about bead shop stuff.
You can find all the information on the project and the products right on our website here on um, beadshop.com. Don't forget to sign up for that newsletter so you know when those Tahitian pearls are launching. I know I'm totally teasing you with those. We'll launch them soon. And then, folks, don't forget that we've got the uh, great bead extravaganza uh, this weekend. You can use, including on the, the kits, uh, I'm calling them kits, but they're really mixes with an included thread. You can use, there it is, uh, the coupon code SPRINGFLING20 at checkout. Uh, the coupon is good through for 23.23. And just enter Spring Fling 20 in the coupon code box. And it'll knock 20% off of your order all weekend here at beadshop.com. And you can jump over to the great bead extravaganza uh, page over on Facebook. Uh, you can find the spring fling event starting tonight for a project preview party at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. And then Saturday and Sunday, you can see the lineup there. Um, this, uh, you can take a screenshot now or this um, schedule is over on the Great Beat Extravaganza page on Facebook as well. Uh, we'll pin the post over to, um, to sign up for the Great Beat Extravaganza giveaway that all of the companies donate to. It'll be over on the page, so you won't miss it. You'll have plenty of chances um, to um, uh, enter it uh, this weekend. We give away three really great big gift baskets. It's a lot of fun. So that does it for me, folks. You have um, about a half hour before all of the, I'm just double checking uh, the comments here. You've got about half hour to shop before um, those pearls go live. Uh, it was fun giving away, <laughs> giving away all those pearls. Remind me, I want to do, I want to do some more giveaways. Um, so things start, uh, so I start tomorrow at 10 a.m. Let me put the, uh, Janice asked that. So let me put that back up and I'll tell you uh, when everything starts. I'm just scrolling through here before I sign off. Where is it? So tomorrow you can see Candy Cooper starts it off at 8.30 a.m. Pacific 9.30 Mountain, 10.30 Central, and 11.30 Eastern. We've put all of the times in, so it starts in different time zones, right? I'm starting at 7 Hawaii time, 10 Pacific, 11 Mountain, 12 Central, and 1 Eastern. And you can see all the times are listed there. So go to that graphic or take a string screenshot right now and you'll have everything. You'll be able to watch everything on replay as well, um, right in the Great Beat Extravaganza group. All of the old um, broadcasts are in there so you can go back and watch and watch. Each of the new ones will be pinned to the top of the page um, so you'll be able to, uh, to find all of the content this weekend. It's a lot of fun. It's a labor of love. It's a lot of work that we do. Um, our coupon code, all the different companies, some have coupon codes, some don't, some do giveaways, some don't. Um, but our coupon code that is started now for beadshop.com is spring fling 20. And that is good through Sunday night. Okay. I hope that clarifies. I will let you folks go. I will see you on uh, tomorrow uh, on uh, my segment. And on Sunday, I'm hosting Lisa Kelly as our special guest uh, from Education. So that's going to be fun. She's at 2.30 Pacific time, I believe. Um, and then I'll see you next week for more BD fun. Thanks so much, folks. Without you, we couldn't do what we love. So we appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks so much. Have a great weekend, everybody.